Uh, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me at the back there? Right at the back? Wave your hand if you can hear me. Thank you. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we meet, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. It is upon their ancestral lands that we meet today. I'd like to thank everyone for attending the opening of the 2016 Voiceless Animal Law Lecture Series. I'm Brian Sherman, and as always, I'm delighted to see so many friends and supporters here this evening for what I assure you will be a stimulating and interesting evening. My daughter, Andine, is currently in Israel and sends her apologies. Andine is co-founder and joint managing director of Voiceless and the inspiration behind our organization, as is her husband, Dr. Draw ben -Ami, whose focus is mainly on the killing of kangaroos, known in the industry as a kangaroo cull. He's got a PhD on the swamp wallaby, in fact. I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge my wife, Dr. Jean Sherman, and thank her for the years she, she served as the chair of the Voiceless Council. This is the 13th year of Voiceless and the 10th year, 10th year of the Law Lecture Series. I'm delighted to see how far we've progressed, how many articles appear in the social media, on TV, and every which way to give voice to the animals. When Ondine and I first launched the lecture series, we intended it to become a forum to discuss new ideas and approaches in animal law. This was a novel area of law in Australia with only one university teaching the subject and few lawyers practicing in the field. But we were determined to make animal law a credible mainstream area of study and practice. We saw building animal law as essential to driving legal reforms that could better protect the millions of animals suffering on factory farms. Okay. This is why Voices has awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars as part of our grants program to various animal law initiatives, whether it be funding legal textbooks, academic conferences, or legal centers specializing in animal law, our determination to build animal law has been unwavering. The lecture series has always been a core part of the initiative of Voiceless. Over the last 10 years, the series has grown from strength to strength, delivering its message of compassion to ever-increasing Australian audiences. This year is shaping up to be our best attended yet, a reflection not only on the growth of animal law, but of the growth of the animal protection movement as a whole. Over 14 Australian universities now teach animal law with hundreds of young lawyers graduating. We're seeing academics attain their doctorates in animal law related fields, as well as a proliferation of young professional, professionals choosing to dedicate their careers to the pursuit of animal justice. But most of all, animal rights has transitioned from the fringe into the mainstream. No longer is it seen as a dirty word, but rather for its truth, a movement of rational, compassionate, critical thinking citizens fighting against animal abuse. Before handing over to our legal counsel, Manny, who I'm sure most of you have met or spoken to over the years, who will introduce our guest speaker, Mariana Thiem and Dr. Peter Chen, I'd like to thank you all again for your continued support. I assure you, voices remain a strong and active voice behind the voiceless, even if my voice box gives in. Thank you. Thank you. 